Good morning, it's Janice Ficka with Women Getting Real, and boy, do I have a topic for you this morning. Ouch! I wouldn't even talk about it because it's really more uh, my thing, except that I had someone text me the same question, and then my um, eight-year-old was asking me the same question as we were walking through the store the other day. And my little girl, Kara, said, Now, Mama, tell me why we hate Barbie, and before you shut this off, just hear it out. And I said, Because she's a lie. You know, if you look at a Barbie doll and you look at you, you probably don't look like Barbie or you're killing yourself to look like Barbie or you hate yourself because you don't look like Barbie because you were given it and this was the standard that was set for this is beauty. This is what beauty is supposed to look like. And I have watched over the years as we as women have gravitated to one notion about what beauty is. And if we don't measure up to that beauty, then we hurt ourselves trying to look like that or we give up. And so you've got either end of eating disorder. And I got to tell you, I hear so many stories of women who cannot sit in God's idea of beauty. And I want to say that Barbie is one way that we poison our daughters. We think it's harmless. We think it's innocent. But you yourself, as a grown woman, now know that somewhere you've got a notion about beauty. And I think it starts at a very young age. I just got finished watching uh, the other day. Uh, a clip from Lady Gaga's uh, live um, show that she did, I think it was in Sydney, and then Beyonce's new video that she did. And all these uh, supposed women leaders in our culture are trying to tell us what beauty is and what women do and what they don't do, and mostly it's everything that they do. And I just want to know, are you a woman today that is standing up for God's idea of beauty? Are you reveling in your own sense of worth because of He says so? That's my only worth is because he calls me lovely. Fair you are among 10,000, my darling. And that that is the one voice that drives everything else that you do and think and say about yourself. And it's also what pours out on your daughters, your nieces, your granddaughters, the women in your life, that you're pouring that truth out. Got to start with the basics. So I'm saying, how about let's set Barbie aside and let's go back to Jesus because he's the only one that's the real truth. Just soak on it. I'm just saying. Have a great day.